told about this a few days ago and it's just disturbing very disturbing to see these wicked evangelicals they're just they're lost these people are just so evil but the 2700 evangelicals warn against politicizing coronavirus urge Christians to take vaccine of course these the 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 whole thing is the modern church these people worship the Antichrist you look at the Jesus the Jesus that they worship and uh, and it's the Antichrist he's gonna come he's gonna bring peace he doesn't judge anybody you know mm -hmm. yeah and they'll and even say that you t start talking to them about you quote scripture where Jesus is rebuking the Pharisees and whatever and calling people names and they'll say that's not like my Jesus no because they literally believe in the Antichrist but I'm just gonna show a few things in here it's pretty incredible first of all I'd like to point out the fact 30 days to slow the spread when did this thing get started right here user clip 31st of March, March 31st, 2020, 30 days to slow the spread begins. How did that work? I thought that they were going to flatten the curve and they were going to do all this other stuff and then people could go back to normal living. See, it's not science. That's the whole thing that you need to understand. This whole coronavirus thing has been a scam from the very beginning. Um, the whole thing is a lie. Okay. Well, what about the people that are dying? Um, what about the people that have been dying for thousands of years? People die from sickness. And all of a sudden now it can be turned into this massive, huge crisis where they can control your life and whatever else. It's nonsense. It's stupid. Okay. And, and the coronavirus, you, there's a 94% you know, of the people that get it recover. It's not dangerous. It's not deadly. You know, I mean, and, and if you look at the, you zoom into the thing here, if you feel sick, stay home. Do not go to work. Well, then it's not deadly if they just stay home. That's nonsense. But this this is a devil right here, this this Jesuit Fauci, and he's a, he's a papist as well. They're both, their allegiance is not to their country. Their allegiance is to Rome. You have to understand that. Coalition of more than 2,700 high-profile evangelicals. Since when are Christians supposed to be high profile? Another issue. Spanning the fields of science and religion have signed on to a statement billed a Christian, Christian statement on science for pandemic times, which warns against the politicization of the new coronavirus and urges Christians to take appropriate action against it, including taking a vaccine when it's ready. Yeah, you got to do that. You can't trust in the Lord. Vaccine science is false. Okay, if you understand this. Vaccines are toxic chemicals, and it'll be, okay, you have a, a problem in your lungs or some kind of a thing. Let's inject you with a chemical, and the chemicals will only go to the part that needs it. It won't go throughout your body and poison other areas. <laughs> Stupid. They use aborted baby, you know, tissue in these vaccines. Um, they're satanic. Um, the vaccines are sinful. They're wicked. Okay. <clears throat> And that's, that is the science of them, by the way, too. We are deeply concerned about the polarization and politicization, I can't say the word, of science in the public square when so many lives are at stake, you know, from something that 94% of people get better when they get it. The word science has become a weapon in the culture wars. Scientists are vilified and their findings ignored while conspiracy theories go viral. Yeah, right. If that's true, um, why is this devil still around? Oh, the scientists are ignored. Huh? No, they get press time. All right, and he's not a scientist. He's a he's a stinking faker. Guy's a devil. The whole AIDS virus thing and all that. You can watch the Dr. Robert Welder video I did on that. Um, sadly, Christians seem just as susceptible to these trends. Thoughtful Christians may disagree on public policy in response to the coronavirus, but none of us should ignore clear scientific evidence. Oh, clear scientific evidence like 30 days to slow the spread began in March 31st. Is that the science you're talking about? Bunch of wicked Satanists. The statement published online by the nonprofit organization BioLogos says, BioLogos, you got to love that. What is it? What is BioLogos? Uh, here's their website. Um, and you get down through here. Common questions on science and biblical faith. Okay. Christianity and science. What is evolutionary creation? 
God is the creator and sustainer of all things, and evolution is the best scientific explanation for the relatedness of life on Earth. Oh, yeah, nice. And who's the guy that runs this satanic organization? This devil right here. Francis Collins. Isn't that interesting? Um, and where's he work? National Institutes of Health. Huh. Same place that uh, this satanic Jesuit right here works. Not much changes, huh? Doesn't he didn't go to any Jesuit schools, openly Jesuit schools, but you know, Yale might as well be a Jesuit school there. But uh goes down through here. You can read some of this stuff. NIH director, you know, working with the NIH, same thing with uh, Fauci. Um gonna go down through, but check this out. I love this. Collins's love of guitar playing and motorcycle riding is often mentioned in articles about him. While directing that he formed a rock band with other NIH scientists. So he's a, some old geezer into, into rock music and whatever. Okay. Christianity. Um, by graduate school, Collins considered himself an atheist. However, a conversation with a hospital patient, patient led him to question his lack of religious views, and he investigated various faiths. He familiarized himself with the evidence for and against God in cosmology, and on the recommendation of a Methodist minister, Used mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, who was himself a Satanist, as a foundation to develop his religious views. Real good. Um, C.S. Lewis had believed that he was going to be going to purgatory when he died. Wasn't sure if he was going to go to heaven and all this stuff. Um, I've showed those quotes in my Lord of the Rings uh, videos, exposing Lord of the Rings. Close personal friend of John Ronald Rule Tolkien. Um, they were part of different, you know, secret societies and things. But... He believes that people cannot be converted to Christianity by reason and argument alone, and that the final stage of conversion entails a leap of faith. After several year, years of deliberation, he finally converted to Christianity during a trip to the Cascade Mountains where he describes a striking image of a frozen waterfall as removing his final resistance. <laughs> Resulting in his conversion the following morning, he has described himself as a serious Christian. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what a stupid idiot. You know, my goodness, I saw a frozen waterfall and I got saved. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's that's in the book of Acts, you know. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Nonsense. In his book, 2006 book, The Language of God, a scientific, a scientist presents evidence for belief. Collins wrote that scientific discoveries were an opportunity to worship and that he rejected both young earth creationism and intelligent design. His own belief, he wrote, was theistic evolution or evolutionary creation. Well, then you believe in a moron God. A God that didn't get it right at first, and he had to make you know millions of years of mistakes to try and get his creation right. There is no such thing as theistic evolution. You know, so what an idiot. But this this is what these evangelical Christians have signed up to. You know, signing up with a bunch of Satanists like this. That would kill, the, the, you know, the, the proud looks here. God hates a proud look, by the way. And these two, these two papist devils here, they want to see the death of, you know, not just millions, hundreds of millions, billions of people. And they'll get their wish, and ultimately it'll be their, their death as well. Um, Biologus was founded by U.S. National Institutes of Health Director Francis Collins, a devout Christian geneticist and his wife to foster discussions about the harmony between science and biblical faith. Uh, their science is science falsely so called. Kind of like saying, let's slow the spread and it's only going to take 30 days. Oh wait, no, it's still going to continue on. <laughs> you know, th the whole thing is, if everybody would have submitted to these devils here, then it would have been okay, now we've gotten our system in. You know, but the fact that people have been fighting against this nonsense, oh, well now it's going to take longer to stop the coronavirus, you know. <laughs> disgusting and there you know there they are right there there's Jesuit Fauci and this Francis Collins Satanist and this idiot here in the middle there the Surgeon General you know oh we gotta wear your you don't wear your mask it's not really gonna do anything oh wait no we have to wear you know a mask now too so um, so uh, where's the thing Bishop Patrick Wooden senior of the conservative upper room Church of God in Christ and Valley rally slam dr. Anthony Fauci 
who's director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease and member of the White House Corona Coronavirus Task Force as a backslidden Catholic and self-professed humanist. Yeah, whatever. You know, but it goes down through and, and whatever else. Um, I don't think if there was anything else I'm going to read down in here. But, uh, you know, get vaccinated against COVID-19 when a safe and effective vaccine is available and is directed by a physician. A large fraction of the population needs to be vaccinated to develop the herd immunity. No, that's not how you develop quote unquote herd immunity. You get a lot of people that get it and get better, and then they develop the antibiotic antibodies and stuff inside. You don't need a vaccine. Okay, and coronavirus was never dangerous to begin with. You know, if this thing even exists. I personally think it's just the flu that people are getting and they're labeling it as coronavirus. I, th I think the thing's been a scam from the very beginning. Just a normal cold, flu, whatever else. Well, people come in, let's put them on ventilators and turn the machines up and blow their lungs out and say, oh, they died of coronavirus. Here's somebody that comes in and they don't have coronavirus. We tested them. They don't have it. But let's put them in a room with somebody that does supposedly have this thing. Oh, they got sick. Oh, okay, put them on the ventilator. Crank it up. Kill them. Nope, another one died. That's all it is. That's all this whole thing is. Older people dying of the flu or whatever else, you know. And, uh. Oh, what's coronavirus? You know, or complications of coronavirus. You know, just so ridiculous. But this right here really ticks me off. Vaccination is a provision from God that will prevent disease. Really? Um, did Jesus, God manifest in the flesh, you know, did he vaccinate anybody? Uh, where's vaccination in the New Testament that we're supposed to do this? People were healed in the New Testament without vaccination. Hmm. Not only for ourselves, but for the most vulnerable among us. Matthew 25, verses 31 through 36. Yeah, right. Our faith calls us to sacrifice ourselves for others and accept temporary limitations on our freedoms. Where? Where? Rulers, the powers that be, they're not to be a terror to good works, but to the evil. There's nothing about having your freedom taken away. Nonsense. Because we have a permanent and complete freedom in Christ. That makes no sense at all. Absolutely no sense. You can have your freedom taken away because you have freedom in Christ. Okay? Our faith helps us to be humble and patient when discussing contentious issues. It is our faith, not science, that overcomes fear and brings hope. Uh, science, real science, lines up with biblical faith. Oppositions of science, falsely so-called, says that uh, it's only going to take 30 days to slow the spread. And then they keep it going for months on end and destroy the economy. And destroy people's lives so that you know in the future when people are falling down dead and whatever else because of compromised immune systems because they're not eating correctly um, then they can say oh look see this is coronavirus <laughs> I mean these guys are earning their damnation just as simple as that they are being used of Satan ultimately being used of God to bring in God's judgment on this earth uh, Everything is controlled by God. Remember that. And people for years and years through their own free will have rejected the King James Bible and they've rejected what this book says about sin. And, and okay, then the Lord's going to let these devils who are willing to step into the place and be used of Satan to cause massive death. The Lord's going to allow these guys to do this stuff. Um, but we as Christians have a, have a duty to resist. Remember, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. We have a duty to hinder, to let these people. L-E-T, you know, let it in Second Timothy or Second Thessalonians chapter 2. We're supposed to hinder them. We're supposed to fight them at every step. And that's what we have to do. But uh, I, there's another little interesting point here that I've heard recently, and that is this face mask thing, it's, is it going to be permanent, brother? Do you think it's going to go into the time Jacob's trouble? No, I don't. The reason for that, me saying that, is because part of the Mark of the Beast system uh, is the thing of bio, biometrics. It's, um, I mean, you saw the whole thing here, this, this uh, Francis Collins devil, this wicked Satanist here, right there going to go to hell and burn forever his bio logos thing the whole biometric system it's all about 
um, different types of uh, implantable microchips, uh, you know, whatever else, and facial recognition. How can you do facial recognition technology when everybody's wearing a mask? Hmm. So they're going to eventually have to, to cancel the face mask thing. But see, they want to get the face mask thing forward until people take the vaccine. I know, well, you've been vaccinated now, you know, you don't need to wear a face mask anymore because you're magically protected from the virus that doesn't exist. You know, and that if you've got it, you can stay home. <laughs> you know, so that's what they're doing. It's, it's training slaves. That's the whole thing. But long term, no way. They cannot continue the mask thing because of facial recognition technology. They have to be able to get that big brother system back online and working again. But you train people through the face masks to get the vaccines. That's what this whole thing is about. This 2700 evangel evangelical devils, Satanists on their way to hell, um, believing in Jesus the whole time that they're going. Uh, they're not genuinely born again. Um, if they were, they'd be standing against this stuff. Um, so, but that's what this whole thing is about. Train people to take the vaccine, and then eventually the mark of the beast. Simple. So, thank you to those out there that posted it and let me know about this thing. It's quite angering. Um, get away from these church buildings. There's no New Testament scripture for these church buildings. Um, just makes my blood boil even thinking about this stuff. I mean, I, I, I see modern professing Christians and the way that they talk. They sound like New Age people. That's all that they sound like. I had this experience with God, and, and I just, I, Jesus is such, he's been so real to me. And I, I looked at a frozen waterfall, and I got saved, you know. <laughs> Worldly, wicked, lost people. I used to be one. So, if you're in that whole movement, you need to get away from it. You need to be born again. Um, so that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.